low-key naked right now. So, I look like garbage right now. But the first thing that I do in the morning is get a cup of water. So let's get a cup of water. Then, you just gotta step into the light, you know what I mean? Bro, you can't even see me. Dude, it's too bright. I feel that um, drinking water right when you wake up just like refreshes you, you know, you know, you know. I can't speak, bro. I just woke up. Just give me a break. I'm just gonna enjoy the sun. Dude. Doesn't focus, bro. So I, bro, sometimes you just gotta get the cheap, cheap, cheap stuff because I use this Maxwell's house. Dude, I'm in love. I'm in love. Sometimes you just gotta spank it, you know what I mean? Dude, why do I look like an 8th grader, bro? Dude, what am I doing? After my coffee's done, I usually either read, met, like just mentally get ready for the day, and we're gonna get started right after my coffee's done. I got my coffee. This is usually the time just relaxing, preparing myself for the day, or reading a book, and that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna read a book, and I'll get that right now, actually. So, I got these three, right? So, these are the books that I'm reading currently. I'll show you those after this. But I wanted to show this book, Green Lights. First of all, as you get to know me, Matthew McConaughey is my biggest inspiration. He's right there. All right, all right, all right. He's right there. This book is great if you have dreams, if you want to uh, achieve your dreams, block out the noise. It's a mix of storytelling. It just his life and how he opened, he opened, he opened, he opened. I can't speak. How he opened up his opportunities through failures such as red lights and made them green lights. Even when it's the deep times, you can still enjoy the now. I think that's a great way to look at life, and that book has helped me a lot. None of these books are sponsored. Uh, I just want to suggest this to you because it's a great read. It's very important to to see words on paper and, and digest them in your brain. I never used to read. I never, bro. I, I, I what was that, bro? <laughs> In high school, I never read. I'd be the kid that spark noted all the t the reading tests. I did not care for reading. I was a good reader, I just didn't want to read. After this past year, I took a gap year to go to California. Explaining that in this video. As I came home from California, I started reading. I needed that space in my mind and it's helped a lot. I am reading for, a, this is a fictional book. It's called Misery by Stephen King. I'm just about a fifth into it still getting into that one it's like a horror thriller and then i'm doing it's all in your head by the artist russ for some reason i didn't really comprehend that it was russ when i was getting it but it's like a motivational get out of your own way so i'm gonna get started right now and yeah I just realized that I turned my mic off and I just had a bunch of fluid. I just had a bunch of. I just had a bunch of footage muted. Um, basically, what just happened is I finished reading one of my books. I explained that strive for perfection, but don't expect it. You gotta grow. Um, get keep the grind on, man. Shit, bro. You gotta grow, you gotta keep the grind up, you're never gonna reach perfection for anything you do. You're never gonna be perfect. So, might as well try to reach it, 
and expect not to get it because then you're going to be the best person you can possibly be. And I explained that I'm going to have a quote every single day after I'm done reading. So yeah, sorry I'm going fast. I'm just trying to explain. Then um, I just got ready for the gym. I'm going to go in a little bit, but I got to charge my beats real quick because um, I usually listen to motivo- mm, I keep stuttering, bro. I gotta listen to motivational speeches or motivational podcasts. It's what I listen to when I am at the gym. I try to open my mind, grow not only physically but mentally. And yeah, I think that's the best time is when you're trying to grow your your body. You're trying to grow your mind as well. And that's my thing. I just listen to motivational things. People listen to music. It's up to you. But that's my thing. After I am done charging my beats, we're gonna head to the gym. Sorry I had to repeat that. I had a lot of footage just lost, but it happens. I am in my car, I'm about to go to the gym. I just took pre-workout, and it, every time I take the pre-workout, I do like the, the scoop, you know? It reminds me of the cinnamon challenge. I cannot breathe, but I can't stop doing it. I don't know why. But. Just want to mention that every single time I do pre-workout, it kills me. But, uh, heading to the gym right now. I'll see you when I get there. So, I just got to the gym. Yeah, today is check. What the My voice, bro. What the hell's going on? I'm at the gym. About to hit chest. Uh, I'll be back right after. Explain what I did. My mentality. Whatever. Whatever went on. I'll see you guys right after. Probably be in, like, two seconds. So... Peace. Yo, what's up guys? So, just got done with the gym. Uh, got a nice chest pump in. I was listening to my podcast, and the one thing I could say after my workout is, if you got unordinary, uh, bro, I can't speak right now, I'm so dead. If you got unordinary dreams, don't settle for ordinary. All these people, are going to say, bruh, that like it's not gonna work out. That's that's a dream. It's just not real. It's it's luck. The type of people that say that are the people that settle. People that get the big dreams and achieve their dreams. They say it took hard work because they worked hard and canceled out all the noise. So all I can say is keep sticking to what you want. Stick to what you believe and don't settle for any bullshit. <laughs> but yeah, that was my workout. I'm gonna head home. Uh, probably take a shower, eat some food, and then we're gonna. Start talking about what I want to talk about. So what's up? Uh, <clears throat> whoa. I just got out of the shower. I got ready. Ate breakfast, healthy breakfast. Had some eggs, some green pepper, some turkey. Put some chili in there. It was so good. Stick to a healthy breakfast. It makes you feel good for the rest of the day. When you make it yourself, it just feels like you accomplished something. You made something for yourself. So that's a tip. Making your own food. Don't spend money on food as much. Puts a hole in your pocket. Anyways, to the point that I am coming to in this video. What was that voice? I just moved back from California about New Year's. And I was there about six, seven months. And it was a great experience. I would not be who I am today without that experience. And before I get into it, whoever I encountered in California, whether we had a friendship, we were acquaintances, whatever relationship, if it was a bad relationship, I'm glad that you were a part of my life and I got to experience that because you helped me become the person I am today. If you're watching this video, appreciate you. So around, it was about when the, the virus broke out last year, I was gonna go to community college and play soccer. Didn't really know what I wanted to do for college. And out of nowhere, my buddy Bryce invites me, DMs me about a new content house, I'm like, Content house? What the? Me in a content house? And I was so excited. I didn't even tell my parents because I knew they would say no. So basically, I built up the courage enough to tell my parents and ask them. And eventually, they f said yes. They said yes. And I went around July, May, June, around that area. Uh, COVID kept pushing things back. We were supposed to go earlier. Things happened. We FaceTimed a lot. We got to know each other. And it was great. We first met each other and it was amazing. These were my best friends right off the bat. We all became so close. It was just such a good relationship, such a good bond. After a while, it people would leave, come back. I was permanent there. And there were certain things that would happen in the house that some of us would disagree with. It felt like 
it felt like sometimes I was posting content that I did not want to post and I was kind of made to post. I was forced to post it. Post it. Well, not forced because you can't force. It wasn't forced, but I was put in the position where I had to post it in certain ways. And I got to a point where I got sick of it. I, I turned into a different person on screen than I actually was and it was disappointing me. I didn't want people to think certain things of me that wasn't truly me and it, it ticked me off. It really did ticked me off. What the hell? I've never... What? I was pissed. I was I was pretty pissed. And we all, not all of us, but there were a couple, a few, a little more than a few, that decided to move out. We rented a house, um, and after that it got really hard. Didn't know how to make money. I was really alone. I had them there, but deep down I felt alone. I was at my lowest point at this point in time. I had to figure out what can I do for myself to not feel alone? I started to think to myself, I, I kind of need to go home. I need to take a step back to take a step forward. And that's what you got to do sometimes. In order to take a step forward, you have to take a step back. And people don't realize that. And I want this YouTube channel not to just be about me. I don't want you to watch me, click the like, and that's it. I want this to be a conversation. I want you to comment things, me post videos about them to help you in your life every day to day. I want to show you things that have helped me become safe in my own body and knowing that I will always be this way and I have to be okay with that. I want to teach those things to you. The only way that that can happen is if it's a conversation between us. So that's what this channel is going to be about. I think part of being an influencer is influencing. That's the word and I feel like as social media has gone on social media influencer there's a lot of things that people do but they're not influencing anything and not trying to make this world better they're just doing it for numbers for fame for whatever and I gone through that part of it and I just ended up losing myself so I just want to bring light I want to bring positivity to people that don't have it in their life. They don't have that shoulder to lean on. Lean on. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to make the world a better place, I guess. I just want my content to be positive and I want my content to make people happy. Be ready to be like, what, what does he have for me today? What can I look forward to today? Because Keith has this and we can talk about it. Not just, I'm gonna watch Keith do this today. I wanna bring everything I can to the table to have make you have a good day. And so yeah, back to the California conversation. The reason I am positive and try to stay positive is because I was in such a negative place. I feel like the only way you can truly grind is if you know what to grind for. California, the experience itself, great experience. Needed it for myself. Had a lot of fun. Did a lot of stupid stuff. I mean, I did. I did stupid stuff that did not really progress me. And I noticed after all this time, it started getting longer and longer and longer. I wasn't growing as a person. I was not gaining. So I had to see what would help me gain. And part of that was, like I said, taking a step back and coming home. I still talk to those people in California, a lot of them. And we're all doing great. We are all on our own. We're gonna meet up soon and um, I'm really excited about that, but part of it's just having self-awareness. It's never going to fall into your lap. It really never will. And for some people, it might. Don't be the person to wait. So I'm really, really excited to have this conversation with y'all because I get to share my strengths and you guys get to share your strengths with me. And we'll grow together. And this is going to be a marathon, not a sprint. This is not gonna, I know I'm not gonna gain followers right away and that's not what it's about. It's about growing as a person and I can't wait for this journey with you and I. I don't want this experience to be about me. I want this experience to be about you. It's you first. I wanna take your comments, your criticism, your thoughts. I wanna put them into my videos and show you. Comment down below what you'd like to see next to help your day get better. I'll show my process and we can see how it goes. So yeah, that's about it for the day. Thanks for watching my channel today, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And don't forget, on this channel, it's you first.